The North the Trump administration, we are told, expected to designate Iran's Revolutionary Guard as a foreign terrorist organization. You know, the move would be the first time Washington formally attaches that label to another nation's military. Iran, of course, is listed as the State Department's number one sponsor, state sponsor of terrorism in the whole world. Jonathan Hunt has more from Jerusalem. Eric, this is the latest in a series of tough measures the White House has taken since President Trump decided a year ago to pull out of President Obama's nuclear deal with Tehran. Designating Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC, as a terrorist organization would mark the first time the U.S. has ever labeled a foreign country's military in such a way. The policy has been pushed by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton, who are keen to put pressure on an organization that essentially runs Iran's security and has wide economic and political power inside the country. It's been welcomed by Republicans, including Nebraska Senator Ben Sass, who said in a statement that while the designation may be new, quote, these IRGC butchers have been terrorists for a long time. And he added, quote, this would greatly expand our ability to roll back Iran's ability to fund and export terror abroad. But critics say it could lead to the targeting of and retaliation against U.S. troops in countries like Syria or Iraq, where Iranian forces are active. Wendy Sherman, a former Undersecretary of State and Iran negotiator, for instance, telling Reuters, quote, the IRGC is already fully sanctioned and this escalation absolutely endangers our troops in the region. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joe Dunford, has also reportedly cautioned against the move. Nevertheless, the White House is expected to announce the designation as soon as Monday. Eric? All right, Jonathan, thanks so much.